What's going on with the guys? Happy free agency. The Jaguars have made their first move. Not a super exciting move, but it was a necessary move, and that is that they restructured Andrew Norwell's contract to be a one-year deal worth like $12 million with like $9 million guaranteed. I'm not sure exactly what this does with the cap, but I'm sure it helps it out just a little bit. And um, it helps us out because we don't have to give a guy like Tooney or something like that a big mega contract. We can kind of stay consistent with what we have here. And hopefully the plan going forward is to um, draft is to draft an interior lineman um, this year, then maybe next year put him into the starting lineup because the offensive line is getting pretty expensive, man. Everybody besides right tackle Jawan Taylor is on their second contract. So it's got a bunch of veterans on here. Hopefully we can start supplementing this kind of stuff with getting young guys on their first contracts. But one thing I like about this is that Urban Meyer was true to his word. You know, a lot of times it's like, is this lip service what he's telling us or is it not? I mean, so far he's been pretty truthful and that he really liked Andrew Norwell and wants to keep Andrew Norwell around. And then he also said the same kind of thing about Cam Robinson, but we'll see what the Cam Robinson thing, you know, I don't know. I, I would really doubt they go out there and sign like a Trent Williams unless like they do find a trade partner with Cam Robinson, which, you know, with the, with the cap, as low as it is, I'm unsure of how much that will really happen. And, you know, this just goes to show you, man, don't ever believe Jason Lockhart for uh, the CBS guy because, you know, he's the one that, that originally reported this and it was just so false. And this guy is just um, the worst when it comes to getting Jags uh, tidbits. So if you guys ever see a rumor and it's started by Jason Lockhart for uh, um, most likely it's not true. So it's going to be a crazy day, man. I'm going to be working from home, so I'm going to try. I've got a few meetings today. So when news breaks about potential um, signings, it may take me a little bit to get a video out because I am working, so I'm going to have to do this intermittently. But tonight, I should be able to pump stuff out. Um, we'll see how much stuff drops. Maybe um, I can do a live stream or something like that. You know, there's a lot of a lot of possibilities, but I'm very excited. The Jaguars are going to get a lot better today. Look for 12 p.m. Noon, noon is when all this stuff is going to start breaking. So, you know, it starts today, and then they can legally start signing on Wednesday, but they pretty much agree to deals today. So it's going to be... It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm very excited. That's time to get better. This is just a first step in the Jaguars turning this thing around, turning around the ship. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I would, some guys I would expect, I think Curtis Samuel's probably gonna be on the team, judging from, it just seems like that's the way it's gonna go. Either Matt Judon or um, Shaq Barrett, I think are gonna be a Jaguars and um, I think Johnny Smith. Those are my those are those are my three predictions: Johnny Smith, um, Curtis Samuel, um, Judon slash Shaq Barrett. We'll see if I'm really that smart or if I'm completely wrong. All right, guys, I'll see you.